Shall we all stand up for this little birthday song as well? <laughs> Just, uh... For our friends from Australia, all this very uh, Singaporeans are very into songs. Happy in Milton Hill, there you go. <laughs> Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to Sydney Wall. Happy birthday to you. This is all oh, got karaoke version. Hey. You okay? Bro. Happy birthday to Sydney Wall. I become Singaporean 2005. Uh, suggestion was uh, that time there was uh, there was a uh, the, uh, the foreign talent shame in uh, in Singapore Association of Football. So uh, 2002 is first time I came to Singapore. I started playing for Tampines Rovers, and after three years playing here, they offered me citizenship, which I uh, decided to take 2005. Uh, it was uh, actually uh, easy decision for me, you know, for me as a footballer, and, and, and I come first time in, in Singapore to play in a professional league, uh, and then I always uh, believe to challenge myself in, in, in international level. So to to get a citizenship was a, a dream become true for me to play international football. So that was a easy decision for me to 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 to, to accept and then uh, to take a citizenship and uh, to, to play for national team. I like everything. I live here 13, 14 years. Um, all my three kids are born here. And then uh, I feel very much Singaporean. Food, people, everything. Weather, everything. Chicken rice. <laughs> uh, no, no, really. So far, everything is really good. It's nice for me. Is uh, maybe this year is also um, very nice because I get a third baby, which is uh, this year. Uh, so it is uh, maybe this 50 jubilee is uh, maybe also special for me because of my baby as well. So uh, everything look whole country, everything looks like happy and, and, and celebrating. So I feel same way. I still feel same way. Uh, I, I feel it's gonna be great, uh, great uh, national day parade. And I'm sad that we can't be there because of our game is next day, but. Unfortunately, it's how it is. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Okay, I wish them uh, uh, a lot of uh, a lot of happiness, a lot of perspective, uh, and I wish that in future that Singapore become even 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 better country. It is beautiful now, but I I, I hope and I'm sure in future Singapore will be even even nicer country. Uh, can you say to the camera and say that Happy Birthday Singapore? Okay. Bye. Happy Birthday Singapore! Yeah. I became Singapore in uh, uh, 2007, September 2007. And um, to be honest, I, I tried three times, I got rejected. Uh, three times and um, so I, I didn't give up and um, I really wanted to be Singaporean. My kids is born here, I have a best friends here and um, and uh, in uh, I think in September, in, uh, 
in August in 2007, uh, there was a story about me in Straight Times. It was uh, Don't Call Me Forna. And I guess after that, I guess somebody re read it from the uh, Immigration Department and somehow I, that time I, I got, a ch I got a, my um, positive that to become Singaporean. And, yeah. Oh, I mean, it's memories here. I've been here 16 years and um, after my hometown, I left in Bosnia. This is my, uh, you know, um, longest stay in one country and um, I moved all around, but uh, I find, actually I look for the home. I honestly, I looked um, many, many years traveling around the, uh, Europe and um, Asia. I look where I can really settle and uh, kind of have a family. And uh, so it's, it's kind of remind me so much in, uh, when I grow up in, uh, you know, in these buildings and, uh, you know, many different religion, many different kind of people living together next to each other. And, um, you know, it's, it's, and, and I thought this is, this is the place, you know, and uh, this is my home and uh, this is um, where's my old three kids born, and, you know, and all my friends is here. I, 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 I guess I kind of, I feel like I grow up here. Yeah, yeah, very much, yeah. Well, are there any differences? Well, the difference is uh, Singapore is a 22nd century. It went so far. My country is uh, where I grew up, grew up is very much down. But the people is also... I, I find, uh, you know, unique. Like uh, when I was growing up in, uh, in the same building, I have so many different religion, different people, and they all live together. And, uh, you know, it, um, and, and, and when you go out, you know, and uh, you see restaurants, you see so many different, they're plus tourists. And, and, and the first minute I arrived in 1999, uh, and um, until today, I, I can definitely call Singapore my home. What do you enjoy most about Singapore? Well, it's uh, definitely, I enjoy weather, food, food like every Singaporean, like, like to try all this kind of different kind of food. I can eat anything. Um, my kids also, uh, and so it's, and um, and the people. I think this, you know, well, of course, you're, 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 I'm a very simple guy, so it's, I think it's easier for me to make the friends all around uh, Singapore. So it's, and uh, so it's, you know, that depends how you, you know, it, as my, how much you respect the people, that's how much you, you should get a respect. And I respect everybody here. And uh, that's why I get, I, I think I get very good response from the people because, I'm a just simple guy like everybody else here. Is there anything you like? Well, <laughs> hey, we are Singaporean. We like to <laughs> we like to complain a lot. <laughs> I I'm not really a guy who will, uh, you know. I or I, I I wish you know the kids will be have a more freedom to uh, more have a free time to to uh, come out and they, they take a sport because I grew up a lot of with the sport and I'm a sportsman and I know how much. You know, I think that's the small missing, uh, you know, but uh, it's changing. I mean, I've been for so many years and uh, I can say now it's much more, you know, everybody wants to be healthy and uh, sporty and, uh, you know, look good and, uh, you know, and um, and follow the teams and clubs and uh, use uh, use opportunity to run. And, uh, you know, I think we should, you know, come out more often, you know, see more people coming out and uh, exercise or running around or follow the football, follow any sport and, uh, and uh, you know, but... Uh, I can't complain, I, I'm happy. Do you have any wishes for Singapore? Well, they definitely, I know this is the 50th year. I, I, I wish uh, um, all healthy healthy Singapore for the another 50 or another 100 years. And, uh, you know, and um, it's uh, growing. We are all growing uh, together. I think we are, you know, uh, growing um, together with Singapore as a country. So, uh, you know, our job is, uh, you know, to... My job as a parent uh, to teach my kids, you know, to respect and, uh, and, uh, and uh, love the country, Singapore, and, uh, and all of us. Is, uh, I think that we need to look after our country because it's quite small, <laughs> and, um, and um, we should, uh, you know, continue what, what we have and uh, be grateful what we have in, uh, in Singapore. Yeah. So you can just like the camera and just say your wishes and happy birthday, Singapore. Best wishes and happy birthday, Singapore. My name is Akem Mohsin. Hold on. My name is Akem Mohsin. I'm from Bangladesh. I came to Singapore in uh, 1991. I'm studying here until 1993. And then I work here. And I become PR in uh, 
2005. So still, I haven't applied for the Singapore citizenship. Hope in future, with my family, we will apply for citizenship mm -hmm. to getting Singapore passport. So now we are celebrating Singapore 15th anniversary of Singapore. So actually I publishing newspaper is for Bangladeshi community. More than 150,000 Bangladeshi are residing here. Most of them are migrant workers. So I started my newspaper from 2006. It's all, almost nine years, going to be 10 years. So our Bangla Concho cultural group, our writers group, we together we're celebrating on the 9th. Tomorrow we're celebrating uh, Singapore Independent Day. I like Singapore, it's a very peaceful country. Mm -hmm. It's not like like Bangladesh, Pakistan, mm -hmm. always political instability. Mm -hmm. the, uh, Singapore is very peaceful and nice country. Mm -hmm. How about, is there anything that you don't like as much about Singapore? As much I like that living it's very uh, Singapore. What say that actual living cost is very high, mm -hmm. but earning also good. Mm -hmm. So no problem that living Singapore mm -hmm. and uh, my children studying here mm -hmm. is world class. Uh, world standard mm -hmm. education policy, mm -hmm. so they're getting the good education here. So how do you feel about being in Singapore for the 50th anniversary? I feel Singapore, of course there is uh, one country that within 50 years is reaches hi highest, uh, uh, world highest, uh, what's say, ec economical Mm -hmm. Development, mm -hmm. world well, richest country within 50 years. Mm -hmm. It's good for this nation that, like Lee Kuan Yew, one of the builder of this country, that he built this country and he give uh, his nation one nice and peaceful country and living standard like world class, with thanks to Lee Kuan Yew. Yeah, of course, of course, happy birthday to Singapore. Hi, my name is Zach. Uh, I became a Singapore PR in 2012 and as an immigrant, uh, it's, a, it's my privilege to join this community and live in such a lively, safe and a beautiful metropolitan city. Uh, one thing I like about Singapore is, I think now is the prime time for Singapore and the people living here are very optimistic about its future. Uh, something I cannot really enjoy is the weather. Uh, I, I still miss the snows and fallen leaves. I really enjoy winter also. <laughs>